Do those damn freaking e-bikers annoy the hell out of you when you're climbing up the hill on your normal mountain bike, puffing away, and they sit by, barely breaking a sweat, and not even trying? Well, fear not. Today, I'm giving you six tips on how to beat that pesky e-biker and wipe the smile off his face for good. Every single e-bike, if it's legal, will have a top speed that the motor will assist it to. That being 60 miles per hour here in the UK or 20 miles per hour in the US and Canada. Now, one thing that'll put that damn pesky e-biker into limp mode is a long, flat piece of tarmac, preferably downhill. He'll be battling his speed limiter whilst you pull away. Well, until the next hill, that is. Plan a long ride with plenty of climbs and soft conditions and watch that e-biker sweat as he panics about range and whether he should stick his four kilos of battery in his backpack as well as the sandwiches. But you better have some strong legs and be super fit because most e-bikes that are 625 watt hours plus are capable of some massive climbs and miles if ridden economically. And if they do decide to bring that spare battery too, your legs will probably give out before that second battery dies. Electricity and water certainly doesn't mix, and most e-bikers are pretty wary of getting their kit excessively wet. So if you plan a route with plenty of stream crossings and river crossings that engulf that bottom bracket, you can sit on the other sides rubbing your hands whilst that e-biker struggles and plans how he's gonna cross that river without getting a short circuit. But something we wouldn't recommend, but we've seen plenty of riders do, is completely submerge their motors and batteries without any problems. And actually some batteries have a high IP rating, meaning that they are fairly waterproof to a certain degree. So don't be surprised to see that e-biker rise from the middle of that pond, spitting fish out with no problem. A pump track which involves no pedaling of your bike whatsoever is a workout for even the fittest of riders on the right tool for the job, which is gonna be a dirt jump hardtail. So take your e-bike mate to the pump track and watch him sweat, pumping that 25 kilo lump around the track. And once you wipe that smile off their face on the pump track, suggest taking them out on a street ride or maybe a wheelie or a bunny up contest and watch them drown in their own tears. But learning to ride a pump track on an e-bike definitely isn't impossible, and it is a load of fun once you get it dialed. And as soon as you jump onto that right bike for the job, it's all gonna become super easy. So who's the cheater then? And as for street riding, again, it isn't impossible. Just look for alternate lines where you can really emphasize that e-bike's power, like stair sets and gnarly climbs. Planning a trip abroad into the sun and riding some dusty trails simply cannot be beaten. A trip to an exotic location is a perfect plan to lure your e-bike friend into going on that biking holiday. But then you say to him that he can't actually fly with his bike with the battery in as no airline will currently accept any e-bike batteries on any single flight. But all might not be at a loss for that e-biker because something that's becoming more and more commonplace is battery hire at the location. So you fly without the battery in your e-bike, arrive and plug that battery in and you're good to go. And if you're even more prepared, you can actually ship your battery out before you fly and arrive there, plug it in and hit those dusty trails. Now, one thing that'll make an e-biker curse and probably blow a head gasket is to make a ride where you have lots of carrying your bike, be it over gates or impassable terrain. Anything that makes your bike, oh, you know, carrying it around on your shoulders or hiker biking definitely isn't fun to be doing 
on an e-bike is definitely going to wipe the smile off their face. I've done it all over a Scottish island and I still have nightmares about it to this day. But, well, there isn't much to say on this one aside from the bikes are getting lighter, such as the Specialized SL range and the old Bear Rise. But bikes aren't made for pushing and walking around. They're designed to be ridden. And I stopped pushing bikes years ago. So there you are, a few ways that you can be beaten if you are an e-biker. But let us know down in the comments if you've got an e-bike and you've been beaten by a mountain biker, how did they do it? We'd love to hear that. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it today. Make sure you subscribe to us here on ENBN. And whilst you're there subscribing, hit that merch shop and get kitted out with all the latest ENBN kit.